The black hole of editing for any creative and filmmaking field is dark and full of terrors. And I know that he will not be able to return from its grasp anytime soon. Keith has lost us. Recently I started reading a book called Good Omens and I found Mr. it- Mr. Carlson. Yeah. Don't you want to know what we're reading? You told us this last year. I sure do. Well, I'm reading a book called House of Leaves. It's basically uh, the book format of the Blair Witch Project movie. That sounds interesting. Yeah. The book I'm reading is a Disney Twisted Tale, Beauty and the Beast. I, what I like about this book is it's a bit darker from the movie, movie you've seen. And plus, it puts a little backstory on certain characters like Belle about her mother, the prince, and his parents. I'm currently reading One Dark Throne. It's very mysterious, it's fun, it's mostly medieval, and very interesting. So right now, I'm reading a Amer Library of America book about Shirley Jackson. She's actually an author that you get taught a lot about in school, but when you go more in depth, you can really find like she was a very influential female author, especially in the horror genre. So the books I'm currently reading, uh, I have to read The Shack for AP Wood, but then I'm also reading Pride and Prejudice for fun just because it's a, it's a good book and it's a classic. I am starting off the Lord of the Rings series with The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I really like that Tolkien's work is like the start of English language fantasy, so it's a really awesome foundation for reading more fictional books. Currently I am reading And I Darken by Kirsten White and the Afterword by Kate Austin. This book is really good because it's very inclusive. Um, the main characters are people of color. There's a bi character, a trans character. It, it's so inclusive and the story writing itself is just amazing. Johnston pulls it off wonderfully. She's an amazing author. I love her. And then And I Darken is basically like Vlad Dracula but without the actual vampire part. And it's really cool. Yeah. I'm currently reading um, Stephen King's Insomnia. Um, I like this book because it is about, it's like horror, and that's my favorite genre of book. So, um, currently I'm reading um, a series, well actually I'm rereading it because it's good. It's called The State of Emergency Collapse Series. It's by Summer Lane, and I like the series because of how in-depth and how fun it is to read because they're quick reads, they're not very hard books, so if you think reading books about war is hard and boring, it's really not. I've been reading a book called The Beginning of Everything lately, and it's about a boy named Ezra Faulkner who, went, who got into an accident that completely changed the course of his life. And I really like this book, and I've, I've enjoyed it because it's really relatable to a lot of people our age who don't exactly know the types of groups they fit in or where they really belong. What I like about reading is how you can always learn from many themes, and many viewpoints of like other people's lives or stories, and how like sometimes book can relate to your real life. I would say. The types of genres that I really enjoy reading are fantasy, adventure, and definitely mystery because the feeling of not knowing what the outcome is going to be in the suspense is something that I enjoy a lot. I like more like fantasy, magic stuff, and also like historical fiction books. Then there's so many different types of books out there that you can never get really bored. Um, I'm really getting into fantasy lately, and I really like it because beyond even just the books and the text, it has these whole worlds of video games, movies, TV shows that lets you really get into the universe. My, my favorite things about books is that they, uh, they all tell a unique story, and they all give you a good moral that you can learn from and a good escape. Who knew we had so many avid readers? I guess I know what everyone will be reading now on September 6th. If you have any questions, check your English teacher's doors for what they're reading. My English teacher always gives such great recommendations. What, what will you be reading? reading?